It's Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday. Oh my goodness, the most exciting day in America right now. <laughs> or something like that. You'll be watching the Super Bowl from around the world today, so have a great time. But we have a little problem. We could not get a video out to you th to, for this week, unless you count what we're doing right now as a video. Because we have been working on what? Lots and lots of other content this week, and there was simply no time to put together something new. So during February, you're going to see lots of cool things. We're going to start, first of all, let's tell them where we are right now. We're at the Tropicana. We are. We're doing a video for you for next Sunday at the Tropicana, and it's not going to be a normal video. We are going to relive some old memories, and I'll tell you what, I'm nostalgic as can be when I walked in the door today. We've only been here minutes, and he's already all nostalgic for all of the wonderful memories that the Tropicana holds for us, and we know its days are really numbered. We have a date. So we're at the Trop. That's number one. Right. Number two. We're starting a fun new series on our channel that we're going to be doing periodically, or at least we hope so, yeah. called Meet Our Community. And we filmed someone extraordinary this week to kick off that series, and it perfectly dovetails with Black History Month. Stay tuned. You're going to be seeing that soon. Yes, because it's going to take a little while to, We've uh, got to, edit, to edit because we have like 45 minutes worth of material on and this. And it's all priceless. This, <laughs> this lady is so special, and, and she absolutely... You're going to love her. <laughs> she, yeah, you're going to love her as much as we love her. And for some reason, she loves us and our channel, so we got to love that. <laughs> yes, so that is coming up soon. And then, of course, we've also grabbed a little bit of Super Bowl fun stuff throughout this week. So we'll insert a little bit of that right here. After days of rain, the sun finally came out the morning we checked out of the trop, so we decided to drive the strip. These brilliant red and purple banners are stretched across all the pedestrian bridges, and they make sure the place looks festive. This was Wednesday morning just before 10 a.m., and traffic was light. I think everybody was gawking at the scenery the same way we were. According to those in the know, Las Vegas is expecting 450,000 football fans to be here this weekend. And the town has rolled out that red carpet, or should I say, the red and purple carpet. Tickets to the game itself are going for a record-breaking $12,000 a seat, but you don't have to be at the stadium to enjoy all of this. There are events planned all week and watch parties today from the M to the Fountain Blue to downtown, from the Palms to the Virgin Hotel to Area 15. <laughs> and get this, Luxor is dressed up like a Dorito. Look at what's going on at the Bellagio. We definitely have to do a U-turn and go check that out. And take a look at Caesars. Even the columns are wrapped in Super Bowl colors. It seems like just days ago that Paula was out here capturing the setup of all these stages. And now there are cameras and broadcasts on them. Let's go get a closer look. CBS Sports and Paramount Plus get the broadcast rights this year, and they get the prime parking spots for all their gear. Talk about timing. I literally just came out to the Lake Bellagio walkway and the fountains came on. They typically do not run at 10 a.m. on a weekday, but we have to look pretty for the TV cameras. It was a fairly mellow tune and the volume was lower than we are used to. This lineup of trucks includes a bunch of high-powered generators fascinating that CBS brought their own power. And I've never seen this before. Frogmen standing by just in case they need to fix something or perhaps rescue an over-enthusiastic fan. Meanwhile, I took a rare opportunity to visit the Bellagio Conservatory and its Lunar New Year display. Paula always does these at the crack of dawn, but today I get a chance to do some artistic shots of my own in this beautiful and serene garden. Let me put on some pretty Asian music and take you along with me.
So I think we told you earlier that at least 18 different TV shows had arranged to use these many stages out front of Bellagio, not just CBS. On this first stage, you may recognize this famous panel of football analysts live from right here in Las Vegas. We are so used to being blocked off and restricted lately, and yet today, the powers that be have created a safe and wide path for us fans, tourists, and rubberneckers to gawk and take as many pictures as we want. I also want to say, every single security person was warm, smiling, and friendly. Big kudos to creating a great fan experience. Paul is out there in the melee on the strip jostling with all the fans. And in contrast, let's take a zen moment to enjoy the waterfall in the west bed in the conservatory. Just two weeks ago, we did a complete walkthrough of this beautiful seasonal display for the Year of the Dragon and we'll link that in the description box in case you missed it. Under this impressive gold and blue structure in the center of it all are three side-by-side -side stages. For anyone who loves to peek behind the scenes in media, this is a field day. In the center, they're putting the finishing touches on a lawn that you'll certainly be seeing on TV. And on the left and the right, if they're not live yet, they will be soon. Beyond the stages, how is this for a fantastic picture spot? Okay, before I go and meet with Paula, let me leave you with one of our favorite perspectives in the conservatory behind the west bed. As we were exiting the Bellagio garage, we noticed something we have been waiting for since last year or more. The huge new LED screens above the Miracle Mile shops are done and blasting all those pixels for all they're worth. Okay, here we go, left on Flamingo past Caesars. And let's drive by the venue where all eyes around the world will be focused in just a few hours, Allegiant Stadium. Well, once we clear the road construction, that is. The big game will start today with 65,000 screaming fans of the 49ers, the Chiefs, and football in general. And in case you didn't know, there will be a game day experience here in Allegiant's parking lot starting at 11.30 this morning. Have a wonderful day today with the yeah, Super Bowl. Happy if, Super Bowl if, if you don't live in the United States, this Have is some chicken wings this, anyway. This is like the biggest soccer tournament in in Europe right now. Yeah, very similar. The, the final two coming to get together, and I'll tell you what they've done to Las Vegas is amazing. It's very very exciting. Oh my gosh, everything here is purple and red. There, and <laughs> there's a couple of people here too. One or two. <laughs> yeah, one or two. You'll see them on TV. <laughs> get this. Every single every single uh, place spot for an airplane to come into Las Vegas, and we have three airports. We have the Henderson, uh, uh, North Las Vegas, and North Las Vegas, and of, and of course, course uh, uh, Harry, Reed. Harry Reed. Every spot is taken up. So, yep. for so for private planes, for private planes, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> so enjoy the Super Bowl if you're into that. If you're not, have a wonderful Sunday. And if you're back east and it's snowing and stuff, uh, uh, I wish stay warm and dry. Stay warm and dry. All right, my friends. I hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye everyone.